The clock on my nightstand blinked 3 a.m. in crimson digits as I jolted awake. My room was cloaked in darkness, the silence deafening. I had no recollection of how I ended up in bed. The last thing I remembered was locking the front door and crawling under the covers at midnight. But now, something was terribly amiss. I reached for my phone, hoping to dispel the eerie feeling that had gripped me, but it refused to respond. Panic welled up within me, and I scrambled for the lamp switch. The room remained shrouded in obscurity, and a shiver coursed through me. The familiar contours of my room seemed distorted in the dim light, as though I had awakened in a parallel universe. My heart raced, and I took deep breaths, trying to rationalize the situation. Perhaps it was a power outage, I thought, but that didn't explain the phone's stubborn silence. With a sense of trepidation, I swung my legs over the side of the bed and placed my feet on the floor. The chill of the hardwood sent a shiver through me. I fumbled my way to the bedroom door and, with cautious steps, made my way into the hallway. The darkness was impenetrable, like a shroud that enveloped my senses. The air seemed heavy, laden with an oppressive presence. My footsteps echoed softly, and I had the eerie sensation that I was not alone. As I navigated through the corridor, the floorboards creaked beneath my weight, and an unsettling feeling of being watched grew stronger. My heart pounded in my chest, and beads of sweat formed on my forehead. A whisper brushed against my ear, and I froze in my tracks. It was faint and incomprehensible, but it sent shivers down my spine. I strained to listen, but the whisper had dissipated into the void. My nerves were on edge, and I decided to return to my room, convinced that I was simply experiencing a bout of sleep paralysis or a vivid nightmare. But when I turned back, the hallway seemed to stretch infinitely in both directions, and my room was nowhere to be found. Panic threatened to consume me as I wandered further into the abyss. Each step I took led me deeper into the unending darkness, and the oppressive feeling intensified. The walls seemed to close in around me, as if the very house were conspiring to keep me trapped. Time lost all meaning as I continued to traverse the seemingly endless hallway. My mind was a whirlwind of fear and confusion. It was then that I began to hear faint whispers again, unintelligible but undeniably present. They seemed to come from all directions, echoing in a haunting chorus. The hallway finally opened into a larger space, and I stumbled into what appeared to be a cavernous chamber. The darkness here was even more profound, as if it were a tangible presence, suffocating and malevolent. My breaths came in shallow gasps, and I desperately yearned for an escape from this nightmarish realm. Then, in the distance, a faint glimmer of light pierced the blackness. It was a feeble beacon of hope, and I followed it with a renewed sense of purpose. As I drew closer, I realized it was emanating from an ornate mirror, standing alone in the chamber. The mirror's frame was adorned with intricate, macabre designs, and the glass itself seemed to ripple like dark water. It cast an eerie, ethereal glow that revealed my reflection, but it was a distorted version of myself, with hollow eyes and a sinister grin. As I gazed into the mirror, the whispers grew louder, forming discernible words. They spoke of ancient rituals, forgotten horrors, and the abyss itself. I recoiled in horror, but the whispers pulled me in like a siren's song compelling me to listen. In a moment of clarity, I realized that the mirror was the key to my escape. With trembling hands, I reached out and touched its surface. The instant my fingers made contact, a shockwave of terror surged through me, 
and I was engulfed in blinding light. When the light dissipated, I found myself back in my room, bathed in the soft glow of morning sun. My heart still raced, and my clothes were drenched in sweat. It took me a moment to realize that I was indeed awake and safe. I rushed to check my phone, which now responded to my touch. It displayed the correct time and date 7.30 a.m. It had only been a few hours since I had gone to sleep, yet it felt like an eternity spent in the clutches of a malevolent darkness. I stumbled out of bed, my legs still shaky, and made my way to the bathroom. As I looked into the mirror to splash water on my face, I couldn't help but notice the sinister grin that lingered on my lips, a chilling reminder of the whispers from the abyss. I had returned from that nightmarish journey, but I knew that I would forever carry its haunting secrets with me. The horrors I had witnessed in that realm would forever be etched into my soul, a constant reminder that some terrors are not confined to the realm of dreams, but can reach out and touch the waking world.